Hello, welcome to the Telegraph Cars review of 2015. And in this video, we are going to talk about luxury cars. So for once, being in a Rolls-Royce Phantom isn't completely gratuitous. We will talk about the Rolls-Royce in a minute, but first, I think we need to go to the lower end of the luxury scale, if you can call it that. And I know what car you're going to talk about, and it almost seems terrible to refer to the BMW 7 Series as lower end, but compared with the Rolls-Royce, it is. A feature which I really like about the 7 Series is the fact it can park itself. And it's not because I'm a bad parker, it's because as parking spaces seem to be getting smaller, you can just line the car up, get out, and you can have that much door clearance. You don't need to open the door. I think an S-Class still maybe more comfortable. An S-Class is still more comfortable. And if you are doing any driving of this vehicle yourself, then you would go for the BMW 7 Series. However, if you're going to be a passenger all the time and you will be chauffeured, it's got to be the S-Class. Yeah, I agree with that. I think the BMW is a sharper driver's car. Mm -hmm. Still lovely to be driven in. Mm -hmm. Not quite as lovely. Exactly. Neither are as luxurious as Rolls-Royce and Bentley. Yeah, but you have to go in one of these cars to really get what it's about, don't you? You they are do. Just... You can take your shoes off and get into a Rolls-Royce because it's not just the wonderful leather interior, it's the footwells as well. This is, what is it? Sheep's lamb's wool. And despite being BMW owned, which is obviously the elephant in the room, it's still very, very British. You could say the same thing about the Bentley. And I'm thinking about the Mulsanne in particular and the Mulsanne Speed, because yes. that's the last one I was lucky enough to drive. And uh, I mean, sitting in the back here, I would say the Rolls Royce feels slightly more of an event, but I mean, you splitting hairs. So the Bentley, yes, it does drive marginally better as a driver. However, no road car really is going to compare to a racing car. So if you're going for all out luxury and supreme comfort, it has to be the Rolls Royce. The best luxury car in the world is a Rolls, Rolls Royce. Royce Phantom. It is the Rolls Royce of motor cars. Oh, no, she did it. <laughs> 